Ah, hello, my hearties, and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Sunday Night Pop-Up on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Very, very good evening to you. Lovely to have you with us, and I hope you are well. Now, I decided to start a little bit earlier this week just to give us more of a fighting chance. So there we are. So you're getting a little bit more time because I think it's important. We've been together for a long, long time now. This is show number 124. Now, uh, whether I do 125 shows and move on to other stuff or whether we just stay here that's up to you. You must tell me what you think, but they have been absolutely fantastic shows up till now, and for that, I thank you and thank you. Hello, my old buddy. This is John Hanlon. How's it hanging? This is Martin Tierney. Excellent, Martin. Lovely to have you with us. The wonderful Gordon Roddick's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Gordon, and a very good evening to you. Uh, Jim Chivon is watching. Chivoni. Hello, pal. This is Richie McCusker. Hello, Richie. Lovely to have you with us as well. And Dinky you. It must be Christmas, says John Hamlin. I know, John, we're all back together. It's got to be something very, very special when the nation, well, every nation and Scotty McClure get together, and most nations, Carl Carlos Stanley, stay on Facebook, he says, I agree, Carl. I think it's very, very important. We obviously had to get the, the show up and running, though, first, but um, that's doing very, very well, says Laura. Hello, Laura, dinky do Hiya, hen. <laughs> she says, how fabulous is that? Hope you're well, buddy, says Carl Carlos Starley. I am, thank you very much. dinky do Scotty of the crew, says John O'Rourke. Hello, this is Helen Torley. Now, guys, I've got fantastic news for you. If it isn't yourself, Scotty, says Paul McGinnis, I know, Paul. Can you say, Fortnite is epic? No gin, I can't. So there you are. First Lord of the Internet and the World Stop Broadcaster popping up on a Sunday night just to say hi to every single one of you. Oh, Scotty, says Ian Johnson. Now, you'll all know by now, but of course, I'm live on Nation Radio on Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight, 96.3 on the FM across central Scotland and www.nationradio.scot for you. There's Sandra Bonner saying dinky. Dinky do, dinky do, Sandra. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty, says Julie Shaw. Matt Ventis is watching one of my esteemed colleagues from the radio. Celtic champions against Hill Hill. So someday they were, well, you know, we don't do football. So Hill Hill. Aha, dinky do, Scotty, says Alistair King. And of course, if it's Hill Hill for one side, it might well be Wheel Wheel for the other. Uh, Amanda's picking my spot, says William. Yes you need a nice spot to sit so Amanda pick that spot over there and he can sit there watching seriously a fortitude produced by does he look very casual today with your jumper yes cash cash uh, Sharon Green happy birthday a shout out for the birthday girl, says Charles A. Diver. Excellent, Louise Gemmell's there. I'm just going to make sure that we're sharing, guys, that everybody knows that we're on and is saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. There we are. Rangers FC, says Jed Conley. Uh, no, they didn't, Jed Conley. Don't come on with all that nonsense. So there we are. And uh, fantastic. Jim Chon, you need to stop all that nonsense, otherwise we'll just be cutting you off. So there you are. Uh, not acceptable. I'll just take that out just now. And uh, there we are. I've deleted that comment. So, Jin Chon, uh, unless you want a lifetime ban from Scotty McClure's Facebook, stop the nonsense. Okay? Glenn Ferguson, dinky do, excellent stuff with the man with the butt it, done it. Of course. Absolutely. There we go. I'm just firing up this other device too so that we've got you on here and we can see what is what? Glenn Ferguson, dinky do, come and join us. Football's a distraction, so we're not talking about it on here. Any football college, Jed, I think what I'll do is I'll take that out as well. So there you are. But we'll leave you on here. Remember, it's red card stuff. If you get it wrong, I'll have to write it backwards on a wee post-it note and hold it up to you. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what's going on, you're watching Scotty 
Nate McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, here for you, saying a dinky -doo. Now, I've got some great news for you guys. Hogmanay is now back in business. Scotty McClure will be going live on radio from 10 o'clock sharp to 1 in the morning with the Scotty McClure Hogmanay Bash. All right? Three hours of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment, and a proper traditional Hogmanay. So there are so televisions off, 10 o'clock sharp Hogmanay, radio time with Scotty McClure and Scotty McClure's Hogmanay bash. And I'll be giving you all the proper traditional tunes. We'll have pipe music, we'll have dancing. Jimmy Shand will probably feature, I would imagine, and um, some wonderful, wonderful singers as well. So there you are. And um, who have we got here? No, no footballer breaks it. Absolutely right. Very good evening, Scotty. This is Glenn Ferguson. Hello, Glenn. And a very good evening to you and Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us, I say. Excellent stuff. And fast fitting you. Good for you. Time for a sip of tea. Do you like the big mug? There she is. Beautiful. Argyle pottery. Mm. Oh, that's lush. That's absolutely fantastic. Andrew Wishmaster Williams, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Right, can everybody share, please, so that we know you're there. A massive share, 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 share. Sorry, I'm just putting on the other computer there so that we can get a bit of sharing going there as well. Very, very, very important. Excellent stuff. Now, uh, who else have we got here? Uh, yes, indeed, you're quite right. No footballer breaks. This is Tommy Jordan. First footy, you Scottish is John Hanlon. McClure's Pies. Jav Salim's with us. Happy birthday to me, Scotty boy. This is Jav Salim. Happy birthday, Jav. McClure Towers. Good for a party. Red card, the bigot. Scotty, this is Martin Tierney. I will, Martin. Dinky do. Good evening. I hope you're well, says Mark Andrews. I am, Mark. Thank you for all your wonderful, wonderful support that we've had, of course. Absolutely tremendous stuff. Just checking the lighting. Am I bright enough? There's the wonderful Lindsay Archibald Krimlish. Dinky do. One of our top journalists watching there. Welcome, 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 Lindsay. I hope you are well. A marvellous, marvellous journalist and a super person. Uh, Danny Boyle, sorry, you'll have to go if you're coming on with that. I'll just take that comment out. I'm removing um, football comments, guys. And if anybody puts one up, um, more than once, then lifetime ban. So there we go. Excellent stuff. And um, what have we got? Yeah, I think this Jim Chon might have to go. Uh, no wrong with football, so Jed. Yes, there is on here, Jed. We don't discuss football on here. All right. If you want to discuss football, go and join one of the football phone-ins. Right, because you will not thrive and prosper on Scotty McClure's Facebook Live. Here's Wedge, Dinky Do, Scotty McClure. Wedge, how are you? Uh, capital C, what have we got? Yes, no, the spelling's quite good, Wedge. Capital M, small c, capital C, L U E. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says Alistair King. Absolutely, Alistair. Tell everyone about Scotty McClure popping up live just for you on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Good evening, Scotty. This is Tony Mac. Good evening, Tony. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, of course, from me, Scotty McClure. I hope you've all been listening to Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM across central Scotland. It's outstanding. Here's Jed say, square sausage. Yes, and he mentions um, a drink, a sweet drink. I won't mention that. Danny Ball says, I'm appalled, a long-time listener. Can't believe you accosted me so publicly. Absolutely, Danny. Yes, no, no, no. No football. No means no. So there you are. That's you accosted. Peter Dale Nevins, dinky do. And uh, right, Jin. You're just about to get a lifetime ban. What a shame. There we are. I've just blocked Jin, and he'll not be on again. You'll never, ever hear of him again. Uh, looking forward to the show tonight, says Wadge. Absolutely, Wadge. A fantastic show tonight. Last night was outstanding. 96.3 in the FM in central Scotland and www.com. 
nationradio.scot for the rest of you uh, if you're on the edge of the transmission area. This is not now, nor has it ever been a football show. Absolutely, Alistair King. I could not agree more. And there we go. So, Jinchon, poor soul, he's gone and we'll never hear from him again. What a shame. Greetings and salutations, Stoops, is Greg MacArthur. Tell them Scotty, this is Ian Johnson, absolutely. Gary Heaps, Scotty Nately, Gary Heaps, I think we'll just block you as well. There we are. So, he'll never be on Facebook Live with Scotty McClure again, either, poor old Gary Heaps. Hope you're well, Scotty. This is Janice McPherson Davis. Excellent, Janice. Wonderful. Dinky do, Scotty. Sandwich shot of a toolbox. Spanner shot of a picnic, says Adam Peel. Absolutely, you're talking about Susie on Facebook. Yes, wonderful. On um, YouTube. Yes, Susie on YouTube. Excellent. Scotty McClure is a YouTube channel, folks, and you can now go on and subscribe. We've got 500 delightful videos for you. You can't go wrong. And uh, good evening, Scotty. This is Colin Edmondson. I also pop up on YouTube for a chit-chat. Oh, no, says Jed. There we are. Is that a full moon? Unusual amount of bam pottery tonight, says John. You're one or two idiots, John. I think just... As Scotty McClue becomes globally popular more and more and more, you're going to get the idiots statistically. Do you see what I mean? You're going to attract them statistically. Uh, what topics are we discussing tonight, says Danny Boyle? Huge stuff tonight. Last night we touched on should Glasgow become the capital of Scotland? And we may well talk a bit about that tonight because we're saying Edinburgh's a castle. Glasgow needs to build a castle. But where in Glasgow do we build the castle? We're also talking about Chinese people can now have more than one child. They can have two children, um, or some of them can. And I'm wondering if we should have the same rule in this country. Uh, moon howlers out in force, says Frank McCallum. Well, we had a full moon uh, this week, didn't we? I've been watching old clips of you on YouTube. Absolutely hilarious, says Adam Peel. They are there for your edification and delight. Uh, an independent Scotland or Devo Max I think, Greg MacArthur, if you had complete Devo Max and Scotland has full fiscal control over its economy, then, uh, you know, and decides how much gets spent in Scotland and how much we can afford to give our near neighbours, I think that would be an excellent way forward. But we also need to ensure that the uh, First Minister of Scotland is treated with proper respect and they realise that she is an equal, you know, very, very important. She's an absolute equal according to the terms of the uh, Act of Union of 1707. So there we are. So we need to look at that. There's been a wee bit of disrespect coming from down south. Um, Susie was always threatening to say, says Julie Shaw, absolutely. Build it next to Celtic Park, right? Not football related, just a nice area. Sorry I've not been able to call. Settling into the new house, says Tony. Good, good, Tony. Doing good sorting the Egypt, Scotty. Oh, we've banned a few tonight already. They've gone. Uh, I think Celtic Park would be a good area, not football related, to build Glasgow Castle. Dinky do, Scotty, from Dublin. Well, you've got Dublin Castle over there. Gordon Ritchie, of course. Castle Hill Road, Scotty, and we're at the centre of the universe. Wish her. Uh, I'm getting the phone and Wi-Fi connected, so I'll be able to listen more. Absolutely. And so we all should, Tony Mac. Very important. Nobody should ever have to miss a second of Scotty McClure. Here, here, says Gordon Ritchie. I've got another idea as well, Gordon. <clears throat> Very important. Just give us a wee wipe down here. Whoa, roasting hot. Roasting hot in the old studio tonight. Sorry about that. Just had to dash off there. Edinburgh all the way, says Nicola Jimison. Yes, but we're wondering about changing. You see, the capital of Scotland used to move around all the time. Uh, we could just move Edinburgh Castle to Glasgow. Recycle it, says John O'Root. Do you mean take it down stone by stone from Castle Hill there in Edinburgh? Bring it to Glasgow and reassemble it. Very good. There we are. Gerard McGark, you have to go. So there we are. I'll delete that comment. What I'll do, Gerard, I'll delete the comment. There's no football allowed on here 
so I've deleted it, but if there's any repeat, you'll get the red card, and then you get a lifetime ban. That's how it works on here. Uh, an independent Scotland within the EU is the goal. Absolutely, Danny Ball, under the crown. Very important to remember that. Uh, hi, Scotty, brick by brick, says John O'Rourke. Now, here's a latest idea I had just at lunchtime today. I think it was to do with some hot chocolate I'd had. It was very nice. Uh, and I thought to myself, would it be best if, say, the Scottish National Party became the Scottish International Party and ran the whole of the UK um, for everybody because they've done such a fabulous job in Scotland? That was my thinking today, uh, because I know that people are very envious of our First Minister and uh, compared with what's going on at Westminster. Uh, build Glasgow Castle in Pollock Park next to Pollock House. Well, we might make Pollock House Glasgow Castle. Um, Outlaw King was brilliant. M says Jed Conway. Uh, we have a palace and an abbey in Dunfermline. We should be the capital, says Alistair King. Do you know, Alistair, you were the capital. The king sits in Dunfermline too, drinking the blood red wine. Fantastic. Oh, that's lovely. There we are. A zero. Uh, what's the zero from Jed? What's going on? Jed Connolly. Is he new to us? Let's just have another wee look at him. And we'll see what we're doing here. Yes, there we are. No, no, that's fine. Right, okay. We'll see how he goes. Um, no, not under the crown. We don't want the union. And especially should not condone the continuation of the dynasty uh, who has unrighteous control over Scotland. Obtained through violence of death. No, that was a thousand years ago. No, no, we need the crown. Scotland has got its own crown. The monarchy is a Scottish institution. We're not going to hand that away and leave that down south. Away you go. Definitely think Glasgow should be the capital city. It's the biggest city where most businesses are. The beating heart of Scotland. I don't know, there's quite a lot of business done in Edinburgh, Tony. You know, Edinburgh is quite a wealthy place. And um, what's this going on? Right, Jed, I'm going to have to give you a ban. So we're going to have to say bye-bye to you because we don't discuss football. And for some reason, you don't seem to be able to grasp that. So you're sitting there going on about football on a non-football show. All right? So last warning and then gone. Shh, off. All right? Do you still have labs, Scotty? I've got a wee black lad. Puppy, she's a sweetheart. I do, Julie. I've got Lord Clyde. There we are. Riley Kane. Yo, you're the DJ. Excellent. I am indeed. Being a trade unionist, I like the idea of changing the NDP to the Scottish International Party. Yes, but we would still be under the crown, but they would run the whole show. So in other words, it's bye-bye. Everything is going on because the Scots ran the empire for the British. You know, so they might as well be running the country. And uh, they've got a great track record. Hi, Scotty, is a Deborah. Hello, Scotty, says Ned McMillan. Should appoint a trusted admin to control the bampots so you can focus on the topic, Scotty. I know. Banters, Scotty, only banters, says Gerald McGuck. All right, but no more football banter. We don't mind banter. I can hear you, says Jed Conley. You'd better be listening up, Jed, because you're about to go, la. So there we are. And uh, I'm death. He says, yes, yes, yes. Well, you'll be going by. Uh, wave to me, Scotty, says Mark. Hello, Mark. Thank you, do from me, Scotty McClure, and a very, very warm welcome to you. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Now then, have you all shared? Share, 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 share. Very important. So if you can all get sharing, that would be absolutely fabulous. I'm looking for something here. There we are. See if I can find it. Oh, very important. Right. I think I've found it. Excellent stuff. And um, I was just looking. I'm going. I'm connecting up another device here, guys. I'll be coming a bit close to you. Sorry about that. I just want to get this sorted here. Oh, there we are. Excellent stuff. 
And that's that, and I'll just sort this out for you. Good. Right, you'll hear that start up in a wee moment. Hello, Scotty McClure, says Pauline Cartlidge-Jones. Dinky dear, Pauline. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was just wondering if we've been missing you. Thanks, Scotty, says Mark. No problem, Mark. I've not got a share button for some reason, says Alistair King. I noticed I uh, didn't have a share button for a friend's thing today, and I wanted to share something you'd written. It was tremendous. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, so I think sometimes if something's very, very popular, they don't give you a share button because it could, you know, they want to keep a grip on who's uh, who's uh, sending it round. So there we go. What do we got here? Nino Verico. Hi. Hi, Nino. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue. Right. Can everybody share, 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 share. And uh, we'll send this round. This is show number 124. I was wondering about doing 125 shows, and then we take a wee break and maybe resume later in the year, but it's entirely up to yourselves. You tell me what you think. I mean, when I started, all I did was expecting to do five minutes. How are you tonight, says Nino? Very, very well, sir, and your good self. Let us know how you are. The wonderful Roddy Morrison's watching Dinky Doo, Roddy. I normally always share the show, says Alistair King. I know you do. Frankie Pilkey, Dinky Doo, an absolute top man. Lovely, lovely, lovely to hear from you. Come on and uh, have a wee bit of banter with me. That would be tremendous. One of our top broadcasters there, Frankie Pilkey. What a top man. And, uh, and a former colleague of mine. So there you are. Loved working with that man. Tremendous. A man of great wisdom. Yo, says Riley Kane. Yo, Riley Kane. Where are you watching from? You have to tell us. Right, here we go. I'm just going to get all this up so we can get sharing. Excellent stuff. That's that. And we've done that. Sandra Wilkins watching. Dinky do, Sandra. Lovely to have you with us. Come on and join us. Great, thanks. I've been busy. I missed a couple of broadcasts, says Nino. Not to worry, Nino, although you should never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClure or you miss a moment of life. So there we are. Where's your shot and tie tonight, says Gary Ball. Well, I thought I'd go cash tonight, Gary. Barry McCorkendale. Hi, Scotty. Ooh. Interesting. Greg MacArthur. We don't need a capital city or indeed a parliament building to hold a parliament. Just like the conventicles, the covenanters used to hold in the Lanarkshire hills. Well, that was religions, though. Uh, it's taking the part that counts. Your radio show's really good, says Nino. Thanks, Nino. Appreciate it. Everyone needs a break, B-R-A-K-E. Have Christmas to yourself. And we'll see you for Hogmanay. Yes, absolutely. So next week we might make it the last one. Love it, says Nino. Thanks, Nino. Appreciate it. Uh, show, your mug looks cool. Yes, Danoon Pottery. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at the detail there, guys. Argyle Pottery. Tremendous. Fantastic. Ooh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ready, Kane, are you talking nonsense? I'm just wondering, there's Kate O'Connor. Hi, Scotty Dinky Doo. Julie Shaw, wish your shows were like the way back in the old Scotty FM days. Now, Julie, what do you mean by that? Because remember, these shows are brand new, and you've got to build the show up, right? So you're not going to suddenly go back. Remember, I had maybe close on quarter of a million people listening every half hour on Scott FM. I mean, that was Scotland's finest radio hour ever. And nothing after it ever came close to Scott FM except for Nation Radio. The advent of Nation Radio has changed the Scottish landscape beyond belief. Tremendous Scottish radio landscape. 125 shows is a massive milestone for any show. Enjoyed by everyone. Well, three and a half million of you have seen the Malister, so that's quite good, isn't it? Uh, Maria Sellers, Dinky Doo, used to love your radio shows. Nicola Jimison, they're on tonight, so there's no use to. 
They're on now. You can come and join us. An upbeat show as ever is seriously lacking these days. Scotty, you were brilliant in Scott FM. Well, hopefully I'm brilliant now. Get a big tent for the politicians. Enjoying the show with my daughter round. Keep up the good work, says Barry Corkadale. Dermot Scotty McVicar is watching in British Columbia. Fantastic. Every time I listen to you, Jonathan, on your show, he seems to have a chip in his shoulder about people who are unemployed, says Tony Mac, and not as fortunate as him. He seems to talk about anything else. Just my opinion. Well, that's right, it does. Uh, when you got the dafties calling in, you were savage. Yeah, but Julie, you've got to build up. The dafties don't know about the show yet. They've got to come and join us. Do you see what I mean? There's a saying, I'm not saying this applies to you, but there's a saying in Scotland that bairns and idiots should never see a job half done. Because that's when they go, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. Remember, McClure, although I've only got 41 years experience, I've got a rough idea of what I'm doing. So there we go. Big shout out for Kira Montague. Yes, Tony, absolutely. You still are Scotty, says Robert T. Kerr. Thank you, Robert. It just takes a wee while to build up. Remember, Nation Radio is brand new. Brand new radio station, but it's outstanding. The music, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And like any great Scottish family, on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night, between 10 o'clock sharp and midnight, we talk, we chit-chat. Love your voice, Scotty, says Pauline Cartledge-Jones. Thank you, Pauline. Very much appreciated. Somebody once put up that they thought they couldn't stand it. And I put back, well, let's hear yours, and the nation will make a judgment. So there we go. Wonderful stuff. Excellent. As I say, only the 41 years. You've got to remember the Scotty McClure phone ends are uh, heading towards the 28th year. So there you go. Now, you you know, what other piece of broadcasting can you say that's about? Uh, when will May walk away, Scotty? There we are. A bit of politics here. I have Wednesday in the works sweepstake. Well, she's done such a fabulous Fabulous job for us, if you think about it. We're two and a half years down the line since that opinion poll, and we still haven't left the EU, so that's a result. So surely even on that alone, she should be allowed to stay as long as possible. Uh, racism in football needs to go. Racism needs to go completely. So there we are. Uh, Roberto White, yes, talking away to people here. Hello, Roberto. Dinky do. Stuart Campbell, hi, Scotty. I was on last night. Stuart for Coat Bridge. Can you say hi to Jackie in Whifflet? That's a great place, Whifflet. I remember seeing uh, Whifflet up at the central station. So you must have a station at Whifflet. Well, you have. I've passed it by at Coat Brig there, down at the bottom of the hill, Whifflet. Because I always wondered, I need to go someday to Whifflet. And I was driving up the hill at Coat Brig one day, and I thought, well, there's Whifflet. <laughs> Fantastic. What a great place. What's the uh, Whifflet? What's the, the thinking behind the name? Look that one up, Stuart, and come on and tell us tonight, live on Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM across central Scotland. Who have we got here now? Lots and lots and lots of you tonight. Let's get sharing. Um, I'm just going to share this here and let everybody know that we're on. So there's a share going up there. Good. That'll keep people going and let them know that we're on. And I'm going to do some other sharing. I'll bring you with me, if that's okay, so you can share the stuff with me and then we can do a bit of that and uh, and you can join in that would be excellent good there we go right and then that allows me to do my sharing as well you see and uh, there's wadge wadge has been at the sharing too that's excellent wadge very very good and uh, I'll just do that. Uh, Ronnie Mulligan, uh, wishing my family and friends a happy, joyous and safe Christmas and a prosperous new year. Same to yourself and your family, Scotty. Thanks, Ronnie Mulligan. Appreciate it. How do you think the Brexit vote will go Tuesday? Do you think there might be a general election called? I don't know. Louise Sullivan, one of our finest broadcasters, has just joined us. Whifflet came from Wheat Flat, Scotty, as it was all fields. Julie Shaw. You are a wee fund of useful information. Scotty, says Louise Sullivan. Louise, dinky do. Uh, there used to be a cracking chippy at the lights and whifflet. I know, but you wouldn't be able to jump out too quick. You'd have to jump out. You couldn't be driving past. But I might get up the hill and it's all oh, whifflet. Fantastic. So that was 
wheel, uh, fields of wheat. Fields of wheat. What do you think about baby? It's cold outside. Been banned from radio in America. Louise Sullivan. I mean, the Americans, my goodness me. This is why I say to the people who want out of the EU, you'll end up being American. That's what will happen. Is that what you'd like? So they'll be a province of America. America will bring its money over here, buy up everything. And uh, that will be that. And uh, we'll become slaves of the USA. And we'll have to take all their chat and all their laws eventually, all that stuff. Uh, can I download your nation show on a podcast? It's well past my bedtime. Barry Corkendale, unfortunately, you can't. We don't have a listen again at the moment. But I've no doubt it will come because they're a very, very, very go-ahead company. It's fantastic. I have thoroughly enjoyed working with Nation Radio. Tremendous. They're very, very good. Of course, we had our night out last week at uh, 220 St. Vincent Street. Ha ha ha, says Louise Sullivan. And to you, my dear. Fantastic. Right. So I'm just going to do a bit of sharing here, guys, and uh, let everybody know we're live now. There we are. Good. There it goes. Excellent. And if you can all do the same, what's your New Year's resolution? Mine's not to make any, says Tony Mac. Good for you, Tony. That's the one. No, I've got lots and lots of New Year's resolutions. Uh, I want to say hi to all the lovely people that have done so much for me in the last 10 years. Tremendous stuff. There we are. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's what we say. <laughs> Wonderful. <coughs> Come on and have a chit chat. Everybody share, 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 share. What's the time looking like? My goodness me. It's um, nine o'clock, five past nine, and I've got to go in about 25 minutes. I can't believe it. That is incredible. Just going to do some more sharing, guys. If you want to do that, that would be terrific. Sharing to the groups. The Scotty McClure fan group will share to them. And if you can all do the same, I'm thinking we do one more show after this, show number 125, and then we'll give it a bit of a rest. Scott Blything, happening, Scotty. Dinky do, Scott. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm sharing into the group now. There we are. And I'll put in Scotty. There we are. I've, uh, I've had to do this because... One of the other devices was giving up the ghost. So sorry if I'm getting my fizzog a bit close to you at times. I'm just going to sit back in a minute. There we are. And that's gone on there. Happening, Scott. Is this Scott? Dinky do, Scott. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. If you want a shout out for family and friends, do let me know. Get type, 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 type. Very important. There we are. And that's gone out as well. Just sharing away here. And if you can all do the same, that would be tremendous. There we go. And another share out to a group. Wonderful. Who have we got here? Ah, ha. Excellent stuff. Right. Uh, now, uh, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Time is obviously tight because uh, I have to go at 9.30 sharp. This is show number 124 of the Facebook Live shows, and I thought perhaps it would make sense to do 125, and then we'll rest it for Christmas because I've got so many radio shows on, live on Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM across Central Scotland. There's Machir Peverell watching. Lovely to have you with us, Machir. I'm just going to share to another group here, guys. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I'll put that up. There we are. And that should bring that up. Good. And that's us. Excellent. John Ramsey. Dinky do. Dinky do, John Ramsey. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to every single one of you. Tremendous stuff tonight. What a great show. There we are. Uh, please say a very Merry Christmas to all my family in Glasgow, says Pauline Cartledge Jones. I will, Pauline. I will say hi and dinky do to your wonderful family in Glasgow. Right. Can we have another share, guys? That's just after nine o'clock. Can everybody share, 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 share. and uh, get the sharing going. 
all the time. Good evening to your good self, Mr. McClure, old chap, says Douglas McPherson. Douglas McPherson, lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Merry Christmas to one and all, says Pauline Cartledge Jones. Well, we've got next week, God willing, weather permitting, GWWP, I shall be doing a pop up next Sunday for show number 125. And three and a half million of you have seen it. Who do you want? To win in the jungle, says Nicola Jimison. Well, I wondered, would you like to see Scotty McClure in the jungle in I'm a Celebrity? Get me in here. Get me out of here. Fantastic. So there we are. Paul Sefton, dinky do, Jackie Williamson. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I see. And of course... I'm a celebrity will be on right now, so we are up against audience-wise, but I'm pretty sure they'll still get an audience. Pauline Cartlidge jones dinky do, lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome to every single one of you. Yay, says Nicola Jimison. Would you like that, Nicola? dinky do, Scotty, Olivia has come to join us, says Natasha Jane. Lovely Natasha Jane, dinky do to you and welcome. Yes, I would, says Louise Sullivan. Would you go for it, Louise? Would you promote Scotty McClure on your show if I was in the jungle? I'm a celebrity eating all sorts of things. Try and keep an eye out for the famous Scotty McClure spoof of I Am A Celebrity. It's on Facebook Live. Hello, Scotty McClure. Did you do a great turnout today for the Brexit march in London? Yes. Stephen McLeod, I take it. The march doesn't want it to happen overall. The Act of Union 1707 has been breached by ignoring the Scottish electorate. We should declare independence, says Greg MacArthur. Now you need to get the royal assent, so we need to keep in with the royal family. <laughs> What's your opinion now on working mothers? Well, John Ramsey, you know my opinion on working mothers. Yes, get in there, says Pauline Cartlidge Jones. Thank you, dear Scotty. Hope you're well, my friend, says Paul Sefton. I am Paul, and I hope you'll all come and join me on Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM right across central Scotland, or www.nationradio.scot. There we go. Or you can download, you can go to um, the, the app store and download TuneIn and put in uh, Nation Radio Scotland. Or you can download Radio Player and put in Nation Radio 96.3 FM Scotland. Wonderful. <coughs> there we go. Excellent. Lovely to have you all with us. Dinky do, Scotty. Welcome, 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 I say. We could have a Glaswegian version of I'm a Celebrity. It could be filmed in Easter Heights. Yes, yes, sit there. That's it. a bit harsh, Tony Mac. I think you're making a light-hearted joke there about Easter House. Very fine part of the world, full of some very fine people, I say. Right, um, get yourself sorted out. Remember, I'm only on here till just before half past nine. Then I have to take to my heels. Take to my heels, I say, for the Nation Radio Show 96.3 FM. Also, can we have another share, please? Can everybody share, 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 share. You should be sharing this all the time. Let us know where you're watching from. If you're watching throughout the world, we're in show number 124. Three and a half million of you have seen it up till now. I only meant to come on for a few moments um, originally, and now we've done 125 one-hour shows, a few half-hour ones at the end. So there we are. John O'Rourke. That's Cheeky Tony. Lol. When are you on the radio? And is it back to the best dinky do days? Of course, John Ramsey. It's always the best. I'm on the radio at 10 o'clock sharp tonight. So make sure you're tuned in, John Ramsey. Let us know where you are. And I'll let you know how's the best way to get it. Wonderful Colin Patterson. Hi, Scotty from Colin in Melbourne. Dinky do, Colin. Lovely to have you with us. From Melbourne in Australia. How amazing is that? Wow. Fantastic stuff. And I believe Melbourne is very beautiful. I might come and join you out there. 
What are you up to? So there we go. Uh, I'm only joking. I love the good people of Easter House. Of course you do, Tony. And they speak very highly of you. I have no doubt. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what's going on, you're watching the World Stop Broadcaster and the First Lord of the Internet live on Facebook Live saying dinky do to every single one of you. More sharing, please. Bells Hill. Right, John, you'll get it on 96 point three on the FM clear as a bell in Bells Hill. So they are ten o'clock sharp tonight. What about Port Glasgow, says Peter Lachlan? Now I've done a YouTube of Port Glasgow. Guys, get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and there's five hundred videos for your edification and delight. Some of them going back to the old radio shows. What radio station? Nation Radio, John Ramsey. Nation Radio, 96.3 FM. That's all you need to know. 96.3 FM, Nation Radio. Tune into that, and at 10 o'clock sharp, you'll hear my voice booming out right across central Scotland with Scotty McClue's Nightline. There we are. Quan in the East Midlands, says Pauline Cartledge-Jones. Good, Pauline. You'll have to go on to www.nationradio.scot. Dink you do. Um, I'm in the queue listening to you, says Billy Niven. Billy Niven, dink you do to you. I'm Aletha, says Mark Brooks. Uh, Mark, you'll probably have to go on to www.nationradio.scot in case there's a bit of shush, shush down in Leith there. And of course, the old Scott FM was based in Leith. They should have left it there. It was fantastic. What a wonderful radio station. So there we are. Excellent. But I suppose... You know, when something's as successful as that, then people want to buy it and have it for themselves. Looking very casual tonight, Scotty. The cap suits the attire, though. I think so, Paul Sefton. I thought I'd just be a bit cash tonight, and I'm sure you'll all forgive it, the fact that we've done 124 hugely successful broadcasts on Facebook Live. Uh, wonderful. And, of course, everybody in the nation's had a look. Three and a half million of you have had a look. That's not bad, is it? Bit of social media. Hi, Scotty from Liverpool, says Stephen Lance. You need to have a word and get on every night of the week. None of this part-time two hours. I demand you get back on for three hours. I'll leave it with you, says Stephen Lance. Stephen Lance. I'm just new to the station. I need to get my feet under the table first. I don't want to blow it with the big bosses. Uh, I'm in Motherwell, but I can't get Nation Radio. Yes, you can, Julie Shaw. I get another channel coming over it. I have to listen on the internet. I can't understand that, Julie Shaw. You shouldn't. Oh, you tell them, Scotty buddy, says Mark Brooks. I will, Mark. I will tell them. I tell it like it is, you see. Steve Burrows, Dinky Do, a very warm welcome to you. So if we do next week, we'll do show one, two, five, and then we'll probably rest the Facebook Live broadcast for a little while um, and get that all sorted out. But if you can share and share and share and share. Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Good evening, Steve. A very warm welcome and dinky do from me, Scotty McClure. Just going to do some more sharing. So there we are. Let everybody know that we're on. Very, very important. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And um, Tony Mack, did you hear about the dentist? He was called Phil McCavity. Very good. Very good. Good for you, Tony. We like that. There we are. I'm just going to... Get that back up again. Lovely. Good. <clears throat> right. Uh, that's that one. Now, um, if you've just joined us, as I say, a very, very warm welcome. A lot of you will just have put on your Facebook and think, who on earth this? Now, if you're thinking that, yeah, and you're obviously an alien life form from another planet, or you just haven't seen Scotty McClure before. But uh, I am the first lord of the internet. I am the world's top broadcaster. I pop up live at 8.30. We popped up tonight. Who saw us at 8.30 tonight? Come and tell us. Did you like that? Was that a pleasant surprise? Scotty McClue at 8.30. Just for you, dinky do. Fantastic. Right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. You're all wanting to talk. Right, there we are. You're just over my sheer thing. I'll have to take that away to start. Oh, 
Busy, busy, busy. Never seen anything like it. Fantastic. Right, back on to that. Good. Oh, my goodness me, you're all popping up. Right, fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A bit of the old Facebook chat. I'm not, if you've sent me a message on Messenger, I'm not on Messenger on, uh, on this device um, because I didn't want to interrupting the broadcast or the risk of it uh, interrupting the broadcast. We don't want that. Uh, on, on your earlier question, says Paul Sefton, get yourself an I'm a Celebrity Pal. That would be epic. Well, I nearly got into the final of Big Brother. I went down to um, Arsenal's ground to the Emirates Stadium and auditioned for Big Brother. But I think um, I didn't manage to get into that one. Just got pipped at the post, as they say. But who knows? There's something very, 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 very big going on for Scotty McClure at the moment which I shall share with you as and when I can. Good to have you on for a full hour on a Sunday night, says Tony Mack. King of the Jungle, says Pauline Cartledge-Jones. Thank you, Pauline. Also, the documentary I mentioned to you last week, I've got a team interested to get it done in the new year, says Paul Sefton. So they are wonderful, Paul Sefton. Uh, pop a little reminder up um, and uh, let me know. Just something, don't be giving anything away, just a little bit of encoded chit-chat. Pauline cartledge John says, oh, I know, it's wonderful, isn't it? So there you are, the big brother, uh, I think would have been very good in there. Would probably have caused absolute chaos in the house. You know, <laughs> yeah, a wee bit of a stushy going on in the house. But I think they'd be, probably be all right with that if they could cope with it. So there we go, fantastic. dinky do. Oh, my goodness me. Right, that's that. Having to sort all that out. Now, um, do come and tell, I say. Let us know what is what. I'm just going to do some more sharing. If you can all do the same, uh, I'll check how the time's looking. Yes, we've got about 10 minutes, so that's good stuff. So we're all right there. 10 fabulous minutes with you and I, Scotty McClue, and not just one nation, but every nation. Addie Thompson's watching. Thank you, do, Addie. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, I say. Now, uh, here we go. What group am I doing there? Excellent. That's the stuff. That's what we want. There we go. And... Um, Yes, and I'll just say live. Okay, so bear with me, guys. I know you're getting, I'm getting a bit close here. But uh, if you can just bear with me, I'll sort this out for you. And I'll put in live. God, you need six foot arms here. You really would. Live. And uh, that's it. There we go. And they can come and join us. Fantastic. Right, and I shall post it now. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What's your favourite Christmas song, Scotty? Steve Burroughs. It's got to be rid of the Red Nose Reindeer. I should have played it for you. Um, so there we are. Can see you being king of the jungle. You're the king of top radio, says Tony. Tony, I thank you very much. I've been called the father of top radio, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, Yes, public access radio, Mr. Radio, Mr. Media. How about that? Mr. Mr. Media throughout the whole of the United Kingdom. Dinky do, Scotty, say hi to Claire, said David McClelland. Absolutely clear. Dinky do from Dave. How about that? Michael, uh, Mikhail, Mikhail or Michael? Michael O'Hara or Mikhail O'Hara? How do you like it, said Michael? Shall I just say Michael? I think it's Michael. Michael O'Hara, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, come and join us, I say. Scotty McClure, live for you. Show number 124 tonight. We're going to do 125 and then we'll rest it because 125 one-hour shows, well, a few half-hour ones at the end, obviously, for the last few weeks. Laura Melvin's watching Dinky Doo, Laura, Martin Marken, and Richard Eyre. Welcome, 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 I say, to every single one of you, to Scotty McClue's Sunday Night Pop-Up Live on Facebook Live. The world's top broadcaster here just for you. The man with the voice, says Pauline Cartledge-Jones. Yeah, folks, if you're wanting Scotty McClue to do the voiceover for your advertisement, for your Christmas advertising, do get in touch 
And don't panic about the fees. You'll all be panicking. You'll be going, oh, he would take a lot of guilt. You say, no, 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 no. We will adjust the budget to suit you. So there we are. That's what we do. Um, I, I can remember doing some wonderful commercials for Christmas for people. And they said, Scotty, as soon as we get your voice on, we started actually selling stuff. Fantastic. Well, that's what it's all about. Uh, Mischief Medians is Ian Johnson. Yes. There we are. Paul Crookshanks. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. I hope you're all right. Dinky do, Scotty, says Paul. Absolutely, la. And to you. I'm going to do some more sharing, guys, because that's fantastic. Wonderful. Every time we share here, somebody else pops up to see us. Can you all do the same? Scotty, can you say hi to Debbie Trainer Morris, says Paul Trainer. I can indeed. Was Brexit? A working class vote, says Martin Monaghan. Martin, I'm slightly concerned the way they're talking. Well, it's the will of the people, the will of the people. The people voted sovereign will of the people. And you think, hang on a minute, 17 million out of 70 million voted. Is that the will of the people? I'm just slightly anxious that the people are going to get blamed for something big that's been planned here. Hi from Hawaii, says Angelina M. Bardloa. Angeline M. Bardloa in Hawaii. Dinky do and hi to Hawaii from Scotland. Would you be available for doing an interview in the New Year, Scotty? I know you're a very busy man. Yes, we'll need to talk about that, Tony, but I am very maxed at the moment, but who knows? We could maybe do something on the telephone. Uh, Mr. McClure, you could do a Val Dunican-type telly Christmas show for us. Douglas McPherson, absolutely the Scotty McClure show on television, just for you, because we don't have the Markham and Wise show, um, unless it's repeats, of course. We don't have all these big shows and uh, the two Ronnies. Now, so I think the Scotty McClue show on television would do very, very well. Scotty, hello from Ireland, says John Connell. Where are you, John? Which part roughly? And I will know it. Scotty, if you could have a merchandise range, what sort of stuff would you have? Well, I think the up market bits first would be the bonnet, wouldn't they? And the fingerless mitts and the mugs and the badge and all that sort of stuff. The tweed jackets. So there you are. Wonderful. You could have a range at one of the great houses, the Scotty McClure range. So there you go. So we could look at that. Absolutely. Um, but I think, yes, the mugs and the badges. I'm sure there's some badges. About I saw one the other day. I'm almost sure I did. Did I see a Scotty McClure badge? Yes, there it is there. You see? Look at that. Can you, can you all see that? I'll hold it that way. Now, you'll see it backwards. The dinky-doo, Scotty McClure. Fantastic. And people love that sort of thing. They really do. Amazing. So that's it. Can you all see that? Wonderful, wonderful. The Scotty McClure badge. And uh, everybody could wear their Scotty McClure badge. That would be fantastic. I'm just going to do some more sharing. And I think you should all do the same. Can everybody share, 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 A group. Fantastic. And here we go again. Excuse me. L. I. V. E. Live. Excellent. And uh, we'll just share this. Sorry if I'm a bit close, guys. Don't panic. I'm just going to sit back in a wee minute. And uh, the group here. So share it to the group. And I'm just going to share to this group. Wonderful. Excellent. There we are. And um, what have we got here? Lovely. That one. Good. There we go. Uh, you could have the car stickers with the woman at the wheel on them, says Paul Sefton. I know, a bit of a warning, Paul, just to say caution. Absolutely, yes. Open wide, says John Hanlon. Thanks very much, John. Uh, working class areas seem to see more migration than middle class areas when there's no houses or money around. This causes community tensions. If Labour back a people's vote, they stand to lose the most says Martin Monaghan. Uh, no, I don't know. You see, I think, Martin, that's a sweeping generalization, obviously. But um, I think that you'll find that the middle class places have a lot of migration as well. It's just 
it proves less problematic because to move into the middle class uh, areas, they've probably sorted a few quid out um, already. So I think that's what's happening there, Martin. But uh, yes, of course, there's going to be community tensions. But we need to remember there is only one race, and that's the human race. And we're all members of it. And of course, that's what freaks out politicians. Freedom of movement, that's one of the things, xenophobia, that they've been hanging the old uh, Brexit thing on. A wee bit of xenophobia there. And people go, aye, them and us, you know. They're not that. They're not. And of course, every single one of us, you, me, everyone else, is an African. We all originated in the African Rift Valley, and we are Africans. So I don't think we can talk about coming into the country, you know. We are Scottish Africans, Irish Africans. A lot of us came via Ireland. It's one of the oldest countries, most fascinating countries in the world. Tremendous place. Uh, very true, says Pauline Cartledge Jones. Absolutely. You can only have tensions if you've got them and us. If we just have us, this is why it's very good to dispel all the myths about the monarchy. They work very, very hard, these people. Fantastic. And all that so-called money that they've got, that belongs to the state. That belongs to us. They're just curating and being the custodians of the crown. Well, the queen is. She's the curator and custodian of the crown. And we need to have the crown with us if we're hoping to get independence for Scotland, which has moved up massively. So they are because of Brexit. So if Brexit did go ahead, I think it probably would just break up the United Kingdom. That's what we'd see. So there we are. Very true, very true. This is Pauline. Excellent stuff. Now, how are we doing time-wise? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to go, my darlings. It's been lovely, lovely, lovely being with you for the last hour there. This is show number 124. I thought we'd do next week 125 and rest it for a bit. Three and a half million of you have seen it and we have caused world unity on here. Scotty, I've just joined you. What's happening? Says Numpty Heed. Numpty Heed, uh, 10 o'clock sharp, live on Nation Radio. Princess Scotia left the desert land and arrived in Ireland. She looked across the water and saw the promised land says Douglas McPherson. How fantastic is that? Had an important question. What's more important, your health or your wealth? For me, my health. Listen, the only true wealth is life. I'm telling you now, right? I've seen people make millions of pounds and the most miserable people under the sun because they thought that once they had a few quid, so people might look up to them. And of course, they don't. So there you go. They've just isolated themselves. Martin Martin, the sooner Scotland's independent, the better, yes. But we don't rush into it. We sort things out. We make sure the monarchy are in place and well respected. Yeah, because they're the ones that can grant it to us. So there we are. Tory party don't care about working families in the UK, homeless families in the UK. Um, all have a top night. She should step down, says John Linden. No, John Linden, she's done a fabulous job. We're two and a half years down the line. We still haven't left the EU. That's a result. There we are. Looking forward to hearing you on the radio at 10. Dinky do. What's in your iron brews? Whiskey to make you frisky or keep you warm on a cold night. Scotty, you're a delight, says Billy Niven. So are you, Billy Niven. I'm going to have to dash. I'll sing you the song. Here we go, my loves. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we are then. Au revoir and a cheery oh. Paul Sefton, thank you, dear Mark Brooks. Yes, absolutely, good for you. I don't quite know how we pronounce that. But I'll say dinky do to you, Mark Brooks. Fantastic stuff. As uh, Scotty McClure saying to every single one of you, have a fabulous week. Join me next week for show one, two, five, which might be the last one for a while. And we'll catch up then. I'm on the radio tonight at 10 o'clock sharp on Nation Radio. Come and join us. Dinky do.